Hello Leo, how are you? Welcome to your August reading. Just giving the cards a few shuffles. If you require a personal reading, please feel free to contact me on the email link below. The pre-shuffle. Nine of Pentacles, independence, happiness, abundance. Mm. Okay, angels, guides, whatever you in store for Leo for the month of August, please. First card, Four of Wands. Card of stability, harmony, fresh starts, commitment. Feels like you've met this person before. You've had dealings with them, a romance perhaps. There's been some obstacles to overcome. You've gone through the mill together. I'm feeling separation, but I'm getting recommitment. Another try. And there's the offer. Small gift perhaps. It's only a page, pretty light. Out of all the pages, Page of Pentacles is the most reliable. Seven of Cups. Is it a smoke screen, I wonder? Somebody confused. King of Pentacles. Stability. If this is representing a person, they are financially stable, money orientated, show little emotion. Maybe it's them for some of you making this offer. Marathon. The card of commitment. Marriage. Long term arrangement. Contracts. Take it out, resonates, Leo. Beginnings of passion. Very, very strong opportunity to renew passion. Yeah, I'm getting return. The moon card. There is a lunar eclipse coming up. This could mean this offer will come round around the lunar eclipse, but not all will be revealed. Hang on, somebody's been thinking about it. Maybe a change of heart here. Perhaps somebody's changed their mind. Knight of Wands. Player. Likes to have fun, light-hearted, in and out energy, unpredictable, can mean distance, travel. I have a feeling that there was problems with this energy before on getting them to commit to anything. And thus a parting occurred. But this is saying to me a return. Somebody's had a change of heart. Maybe they want to change their ways. Stop this player energy. Come in with an offer that's 
much more stable. This will probably throw you off balance a bit and put you in a state of what the hell? <laughs> Confusion, eh? You might have to stop and think about this, Leo. Fast communication, eight of wands, also another travel card. A sudden surge of activity. Looking very interesting at the very least. One more card here, let's see. Yeah, Queen of Wands. You're going to get a sudden surge of activity, communication, more fire energy, but a bit more mature than this. Maybe somebody is settling down. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Swords. That to me is a delay. There's an outside influence delay in this. There's perhaps been a lull in activity for, for a while. Things have gone silent. Oh, let's try to get, yeah, another travel cart, the chariot. They're moving towards you, Leo. Pull me one more card. There's a cups. It seem they've got love in mind. Bottom of the deck is page of wands. My apologies for the glare. I'm sitting directly in front of a window. Page of wands to me is a slam screen for this. They come in really light-hearted. Hidden aspects, remember. This is what they want. To so commit, build something much more stable, much more solid, much more longer-lasting. I'm going to pull you a Moonology card. My apologies for any background noise you may be hearing. It's the computer fan. It's kicking in. It's over 30 degrees where I am at the moment. So the computer fan kicks in quite regularly. I'm sorry, I can't do anything about it. Please bear with me. Yeah. The energy is gaining momentum. So my feelings are you're not yet aware of this. It could very well take you by surprise. The Eight of Wands, Knight of Wands and Chariot are fairly fast moving energies. They're fire energy. So on that note I'm going to leave it. I wish you a great August day. Leah, I was about to say Aries then. I wish you a great August and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.